welcome they call me big hurt and on this channel you will see basic motorcycle install videos wind therapy vlogging just our motorcycle life enjoying each other's company and meeting new people and going to new places my adventurous side exploring life with my not so adventurous wife but we enjoy doing things together and it's a match made in heaven Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your guy here, Herc. Today's gonna be a little different. I'm actually uh, haven't included this on the channel yet. I actually enjoy getting out and cycling. Also, I'm not a, a cycler to get on the actual highway and the road, but I do get on the greenways, different things like that around my house. Try to average about 150 miles, give or take a month, which ain't a lot, but to some people it is. But today. We actually out here where I bought my last bicycle, bought a trek here at Psychology in Melville, Tennessee, picking up my new one. This one's gonna be a little different because I'm actually doing something that I've never done before with a bicycle. And I'm gonna show y'all and take y'all along for this new journey. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of the shop up here. Psychology again in Melville, Tennessee is where I bought my first trek. Right now, I got an older Trek FX. I've been riding it for about four or five years. This time, I upgraded, got me a newer bike. And my old one just needed some work. And before I spent a bunch of money to get it back roadworthy, which I did in a way, but before I started changing out the whole drivetrain and gear set and all that, I just decided to buy me a new bike. But this is what we got. We got just about everything you would could use or need. That's the women's side. I got full mountain bikes, um, front and rear suspension, full suspension. They set a lot of tracks in here. They even got some uh, e bikes. There go one right there. I actually have a bunch of e bikes that I've actually rode. Those are actually nice. Those are fun to get on, especially if you are around a campground or just want to cruise down through the beach and you still actually get a workout. But of course there's your accessories, pedals, shoes, racks, bags. They got discount, clearance section. I go bike carriers. The shop is back in there with a work on them and store them. And then that's where they work on them over here. Yes, and I ain't got a straight road bike. I just don't trust people enough <laughs> for me to get actually on the road. I might get there one day, but yeah, I do good with the motorcycle. I got a helmet, but on these bicycles, yeah, you got a helmet, but yeah, ain't much else. And there is my new one that I bought. Trek Dual Sport Gen 5. Three. Carbon front forks. Papa, this is oh, it is? Yeah. One by, and I'm pretty sure that is a, I don't forgot, is it 11? One, two, four, five, six, seven. Yep. That's what I was talking about. I'm new to this. I am going to be clipping in for the first time. I'm coming up here and my shoes just come in. I had a special order them. They had me stock. But yeah. So they're going to get me set up. Should I try it? Should I try it on for your mouth? You're not going to be able to feel them with your mouth. No, no, no. I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. You can go. Yeah. And so what you do is you pull that bow out. Just take that off. And then pull the bow out. Perfect here. Open out, and then you can open up the laces. There's probably oh, a bunch of paper in there. And then when you want to tighten them down, push that back in, and, and then you can tighten them. Yeah. You won't you. There's a left-hand one too. Alright, he got me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody I'm talking to told me said, you will go down. That's just part of it. Man. Hmm. Oh, 
with that? What is this? That right there is just for extra traction when you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Going on no in like that, it's lead. That's why I was like, what is that? Yeah, I don't know. So pull it. And just because it's on trigger and track, you do get that 30 day ride guarantee. Yeah. So ride around them 30 days if you don't like them for whatever reason, just bring them back. But this is probably, this is the biggest size. I'm pretty sure. 48. Yeah, because that was 14 right. and a half. Yeah. Oh, so what y'all do for big and tall? What they do for big and tall people? Big and tall. <laughs> I don't know. I get custom shoes. Very rare we get a pair of these in. You guys gotta find a different sport, I guess. <laughs> the first thing I want to do, though. Don't worry about clipping it right now. Okay. Just ride the bike. I want to check your saddle height. Okay. Oh. So just go ahead. I'm not sure if uh, we set it or not, but uh, just go ahead and then come back here. But don't worry about clipping. Okay. How far forward you want to go? Just a little bit. Like just go there. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Okay. Just go ahead. That's right. He said I could have bought that. See, my other one came with the. Okay. Yep. down and then just put your foot down toe down first and then you then press down on the back Push down. See that? Now you're clipped in. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Now go ahead and flex it to get it out. Keep your foot. Let's go. Heel out. Oh. Heel coming out. Yeah. The out was easy. That was well, it's supposed to. Well, you don't want it too easy, right? No, like I mean, but it wasn't. Like, I yeah. feel like I'm. That's not the hard part to get used to. All the way in, go ahead and push down harder. There you go. Feel oh. feel that and I heard right. it. Okay, so that's your that's your one thing. When you first start, you're just gonna get that one foot in, right? So there's, there's two trains of thought on it, right? If you ask me, when I'm riding, I always click in with my strong foot first, yeah. right? And that leaves my left foot free. The other reason for that is that if I'm riding down the road, the cars are coming this way. So like if something happened where I couldn't get out tonight or I, I just got stuck, yeah. right? I don't want to fall away the car, right? Okay. But I also don't want to fall away on my derail, right? So I don't want to fall, if, if you're just in the park and on the greenways and stuff, I don't want to fall go. on this yeah. side. So click that foot out first, okay. right? When you're going riding. But you're going to go around. The, most, the hardest part is when you come to a stop, for me, is when I come to a stop, and then I try to get going again, and then I have to stop for some reason real quick, right? And it's probably like getting used to it because I have pain. You, you'll get used to it. Like, yeah, but like you know what I'm saying? Like early oh, yeah. on, it'd be like, oh, and I panic and probably forget even how to get my foot out. And then when you're coming to a window, and then also very important, let's say on your greenway and it comes to that where you know there's a stop sign, right? Click out first, right? So like, oh, I know I have to stop here, Click out because if you want to, yeah, one, okay. the one you want to go yeah, down on, yeah. right? Because if not, you come to a stop and sometimes you're like, oh, I forgot yeah. to click out, and then you're falling over. Okay. Kick off on that, and then just spin around, right? And while you're going, you bring another foot up and you're clicking. Yep. 
Like you can ride around with it. It's not like you have to be real candid about it. And he's off. I'm going around the building. We'll be right back. And I will tell you, the time that I fall the most is if my wife is out riding with me. You're more worried about her? No, I always uh -huh. fall in front of her. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Like, like oh. around here? I, I pulled it out, now I'm trying to get it back in. There you go. Yep. Yeah. 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 How easy is it? Should I be able to click them out? You don't want it super easy because you don't want to be gone and it becomes a pain in the butt, right? Like if you're now like, how do you tighten it? Just right here. Down in this you see, back. That's right. You see that the one yep, plus yep, and one yep. minus? These have 12 spaces in them, 12, right? So you can just go like all I think I put them in the center, right? Because that's where I Because it wasn't line. easy, but and I know that's probably one of them where you gotta ride mm -hmm. and the uh just see if it pops out on some of the, I guess, trails that I'm on. I, that's what I would do. Okay. I can set it for easier, though. If you no, 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 okay. I don't need it easier. Okay. If anything, I thought it might go be tighter. Okay. Yeah, go out and ride. If it okay. needs to be tighter. Like, sometimes I'll be riding my mountain bike, and I'll come out and be like, I you don't want that, right? Yeah. So, just one. Go one at a time. That's I'm getting used to. I will say that. And you'll just get used to, like, you can ride around without clipping in, right? There you go. Yeah. <coughs> there you go. There you go. As you like it. <laughs> it's it's a really big upgrade when you go to <coughs> And that's the one thing sometimes you feel like Nope. I thought I was getting it down on that. I thought that was... There it goes. Does that, I just get seized over time. I don't even think about when I do it anymore. And a lot of times you can just kick off without even being clipped in, but you'll just get it to the point where you're like, clip. You gonna clip in baby next? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't have the coordination to chew and walk at the same time. Hey, let me tell you, folks. I love it. I love the new bike. I love the shoes. I love the clippers pedals. Now, the one thing about it is I'm going to have to get used to actually clipping in. Uh, if you're ever in need of bike or anything in uh, outdoor equipment, anything to do with, uh, yeah, basically anything to do with outdoor. Uh, they actually got a clothing shop on this side, Little River Trading Company sell anything from tent socks uh any anything really about outdoorsy stuff come check them out i've been dealing with them now for five six years great people to deal with they come and you can just hang out they got a little lap that you can make around the whole building like as i was doing i was one of them now trying out a bike but uh yeah come in and check them out i'm gonna get home load it up and then i'm going to ride a little bit today all right, I just got done on my new bicycle for the first ride and my new clip pedals or clip shoes or clippers, whatever you call them. But anyway, as you can see, tell the difference. Uh, I was about my normal speed. I averaged 12.8 miles an hour. It took me 48 minutes. But the thing about it is I took my time cause this, I definitely didn't want to wreck on my first time going, but I love them. I actually can feel it. Cause the thing about it is the reason I went and got the clips on this bike, you know when you pedal on a regular bike, only force that you're giving is when you pedal straight down. So when you're stroking down, you're working that, but when you're pulling up, that's just wasting energy. So with these pedals and these new shoes, you don't have any wasted energy. Every time you press down, you're pulling up with the opposite leg and working your hamstrings. So I'm happy with them. I'm gonna have to keep going, get that speed a little faster. But I'm happy, so it's my new workout bike. 
All right. Thank you all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.